What time is it? What time is it? It's Kwame time. That's right. I'm Coach Kwame, and I'm here to teach you about not basketball. Well, we might do a little bit of basketball, not soccer. Hmm. I'm here to teach you about poetry. Are you ready for this? It is about to go down. Poetry, I love poetry. Poetry has been a part of my life since I was 12 years old when I wrote a poem for my mother on Mother's Day. Are you ready? You want to hear it? Dear Mommy, I hate Mother's Day. <laughs> Can you imagine? She loved it, though. She felt like it was an expression of my heart, and she cried these tears of joy. Poetry has that kind of power. So I ask you, what is a poem? How do we know what a poem is? We often think poetry is an expression of our heart or the things that we're thinking, but I think there are some things that go into making a poem. Can a poem be bad? Is that possible? Hmm, I got a question. If you go to your teacher's house one Sunday and she's got mashed potatoes and mac and cheese and fried chicken and you're all hungry and you spoon up the mashed potatoes and it's liquidy. The mac and cheese has no cheese in it. And the chicken, the chicken, when you bite into the chicken, blood comes out. Ooh. Who's going back to your teacher's house for dinner? Not me. Now let's say the next Sunday you come to my house for dinner. That's right, you're coming to Coach Kwame's house. I've got mashed potatoes that are all buttery. I've got mac and cheese with five cheeses, including Gouda and lobster. And when you bite into my chicken, the meat just falls off the bone, students. It's so juicy. Who's coming back to my house? Exactly. I like to think that just like fried chicken, good fried chicken, Poetry has to have the right ingredients. That's right, you have to use the right ingredients to make sure that we wanna come back and enjoy that meal again. So, let's figure out what those ingredients are. Okay. I will give you three ingredients. I'll give you that. But you're gonna have to come up with the rest. So let's take, for example, rhyme. Is rhyme an ingredient that goes into making a poem? I think so. I wonder if there was a rhyme that I could give you as an example. Hmm. <gasps> Acoustic rooster sat outside strumming his bass guitar. He practiced jazz all summer long so he could be a Star, exactly. Rhyme, a very good ingredient that goes into making a poem. The next ingredient. Hmm, I think let's try rhythm. Ebony trap, dark, black, and lovely. Brown, mocha, jumping, double black, brown. Night black, out of sight black. So black, purple black. Blue black, black, blue black, black, blue black, black, blue black, black, blue black, black. You hear the rhythm in there? Now, every poem doesn't have to have the same rhythm, but it has to have a rhythm. Our second ingredient is rhythm. Excuse my handwriting. I'm a poet, people. <laughs> okay, now, the last ingredient I'm going to give you. I gave you a hint in that last poem I just recited. Ebony trap, dark, black, and lovely. Brown, mocha, jumping, double black, brown. Night black, out of sight black. So black, purple black. Blue black, black, blue black, black. Blue black, black, blue black, black. Blue black, black. Did you hear it? Repetition. You see how I repeated the word black over and over again? Repetition. So we've got three ingredients here. Rhyme, rhythm, and repetition. I'd like you to come up with some additional ingredients. Most students will come up with about 20. I think you can do it. Help us come up with the ingredients that tell us what a poem is, that tell us how a poem behaves, that tells us how to make a poem good. 